Right, today I'm going to show you how to um, create a very, very simple uh, PHP password type login. But I do not recommend anyone to use this because it is, like I've said, very, very simple. And if you know the page, you can just open the page up without a password. It's got no validation whatsoever, but it's uh, yeah, it's just a bit of PHP for you, just to show you how to transfer a uh, login password. So anyway, let's get started. What you need to do is open up a fresh, uh, fresh page, delete everything out of it, and um, actually, we're going to start off with a simple HTML page, which uh, will look a bit like this. Um, HTML and in the middle we'll, we just want to create a simple simple form which will just have one field on it which will be the password field so let's create a form and the action is going to be um, the page but we'll do that in a sec and the method is going to be uh, we're gonna have that as post. Be yeah, let's close that up. I'm going to create an imp. What's sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to create an input input box, and the type is going to be password. I'm going to just name this uh, pass will do. And another input, um, but this type is going to be a submit. Uh, we're going to just name this. You don't need to name this one, but we're going to do it anyway. Just name it submit, and the value is going to be login. Right, that's basically our simple page, and um, the form action up here, it's going to be back to, it's going to lead to the PHP page, and um, we'll call this, and we'll call this PHP page checkpass.php. Okay, so save this, um, in the as index dot html sorry not php save it there oh one minute we need to um end the farm up there so we save that uh let's just open up that page to see what we've got Uh, that's basically what we've got at the moment. You've got your input box, which is a password field, and login, which goes to checkpass.php, but we've not created that file yet. So that's basically what we've got at the moment. Um, so the next page we're going to create is um, the right and wrong pages which is very simple if we just um, delete this and save as just in the same forward we're going to name it correct.html and we're going to save another one as wrong.html so now we've got two blank empty html pages so what we're going to do is just create a simple HTML and in that HTML we're just going to put you have entered the correct password and save that out copy this code into the wrong but change correct to wrong save that out so basically if I just put in there correct dot html oops 
HTML. We get you invented the correct password. If I change that to wrong, you invented the wrong password. So we've got our final two pages. Now we just need to create the um, the PHP page, which will be um, just delete this and save as uh, we named it as check past, didn't we? Dot PHP on our HTML page right there. Uh, so what we're going to do is open up your PHP tags just like that uh, there we go <laughs> so basically what we need to do is check what the user has entered on the previous page and write a little else if statement to um, check what they've typed in and direct them to the, the right page. So what we're going to do is we're going to just create a, sim, uh, a variable here called pass and that's going to be equal to the um, the post variable which is what we created in the um, HTML page and you're going to enter here inside these inverted commas what your name of the password field was in this case it was pass so we need to enter there pass okay so we've created the variable and just to um, show that it's actually worked I'm going to um, just echo out here echo pass uh, save that So if we type in here uh, password login, oops, ever online free. Right, we need a. Always remember to check your code. Right, so if we uh, resend that data, echoed out password. Okay, so if I type something else here like. Um, tutorial echoes out tutorial so we know that's fully working so let's delete that out um, and I'm going to create a part two because this is overrunning a bit so stick around in part two to learn how to create the if statement so I'll see you later